the National Institute of Materials Physics is one of the leading institutes in R&D in Romania. Retech was one of the, our projects and its goal was to bring research closer to applications to create an integrated environment which comprises both characterization of advanced material, fabrication of advanced materials, and then going the step forward to devices based on advanced materials. When we started Retake, we had in mind three main categories. The first one was high technology, which comprises communications, computers, modern technology. The second one is related to energy production from new sources. The third uh, area was related to materials dedicated to life sciences, to medicine and to materials which are inspired by nature, biomimetic materials. For characterization, our laboratories range from high-resolution electron microscopy, electrical characterization, magnetic characterization, optical spectroscopy, photoelectron spectroscopy, and other type of characterization. In terms of fabrication facilities, we have a wide range of thin film deposition, but also we have technologies necessary for fabricating devices. One of the most important things that Retech offers is the building itself. The fact that it's a temperature controlled environment, it's a very clean environment. This helps a lot with some of the processes that we are using to develop uh, our devices because they're usually sensitive to both temperature and humidity and cleanliness. At Retech, we work with nanowires and nanowebs. We uh, fabricate the nanowires and the nanowebs on site. Uh, we then functionalize them with various materials, uh, usually metals or semiconductors. And ideally, if everything goes right, we'll also integrate them further into some sort of wearable device, find them a use, specifically wearable biomedical sensors. Presently, I'm leading the research on perovskite solar cells at Retech Center. We started working on perovskite solar cells using the spin coating technique that's at hand in any research lab. The problem is that when you want to scale up, the spin code technique will never work. This is why uh, we started the research at, Re uh, at Retech on developing methods and equipments uh, to be applicable on large area substrates. We succeed to deposit one of the very important layers in a, in a pair of the solar cells, the mesoporous scaffold of an oxide, and this result was never reached before by somebody else. In the last uh, one and a half years, I coordinated a team uh, from uh, here, from Retech, uh, who was developing Memristos for uh, our industrial partner, CyberSwarm. Retech is a world-class center, so I find uh, quite comfortable to work here and it's possible to develop cutting-edge technology from uh, equipment and uh, people let's say, point of view, but uh, it's also, because we are in Romania, uh, it's also very cost-effective to work here. So for, uh, for companies, I think it's uh, quite interesting to do work here, to collaborate with uh, Retech. We started working with uh, Retech um, two years ago. We are a deep tech startup with a focus on cybersecurity. Basically, we are working on memory stores because we would like to use them in cybersecurity and in technologies and in areas beyond cybersecurity, such as machine learning, neural networks, even AI, AI in the future. And we decided to work with them because they are um, the best Romanian research institute. They do have a lot of expertise. And from our point of view, it was by far the best investment we made uh, so far. There are two pillars in doing high quality research. One is infrastructure and the second one is related to personnel. In this case, we have uh, numerous PhD students which are both working and learning here. And this is a major advantage of the facility. The, the possibility of keeping high quality personnel in Romania and also attracting people from abroad to work here. This is something new. I came from Portugal here. I've been here for a year. I came to Retech because all the facilities and equipments that are available for us to work are not only cutting edge, but also 
quite rare to find in many other research institutions. And I think that it's a great opportunity to grow scientifically because what I do is actually in a really high level of scientific work. Retech was put into function in 2015 and since then managed already to be involved in some European projects. Some of them are related with Euratom for uh, uh, ITER project in France. And then uh, we are also collaborating in other projects for developing new type of non-volatile memories based on ferroelectric hafnia, which started to be integrated in CMOS technology. And of course, we will try to further develop our network of external collaborations. One main purpose will be also to attract more researchers from abroad. And we try to produce applications and results useful for society.